what you know about these nights Stacking bars to the free fight Got my juice in the trees light When it's not man I see light no Yes guys, we're joined back here with another episode of Sideline Stories And we're joined back by some familiar faces So, we're joined back by Matt uh, Lee And we've also got a new player in the room Now this guy, um, he's got the same name as me But he isn't kind of on my level just yet He is the, the oh, genius yes. of all aspects go. He is the fake Dylan His name is Dylan Perez, okay And as you can see, he is wearing... A Liverpool hat. Okay, now, Dylan, how are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Good, good, good. Well, today is Saturday. Now, usually on a Saturday tradition, it is um, a football day. Okay, now, football's not on, which means Liverpool haven't won the league yet. So, <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to... Uh, uh, right. <laughs> they still ain't won the league. They are still not with champions. <laughs> they are still not league champions. How did yeah, they feel yeah. to be the league champions still? I'm not even worried, you know. I'm not even worried because I know it's going to happen. <laughs> Sorry. I was having a party just there. Sorry. Um... <laughs> oh man, Mate, it's still, uh, it's still, still not the league champions. Um, yeah, but I mean, I mean, either or, I think it's a lose lose position anyway, isn't it? Even if we win it now, there's a lot, there's a lot taken off it, isn't it? With everything that's going on, so but it doesn't take away what for 29 games, what they've done is amazing. Like, they've dropped five points. Which is like... <laughs> I'm joking, <laughs> but um. <laughs> All right, cool. Anyway, guys, so um, today we're just going to go through. So we've, we've kind of been touching bases on teams and um, the new attendee in the room, he wasn't kind of happy with our previous picks of the Would You Rather. So we're going to do um, our, our all-time, um, all um, we'll do Premier League 11, all-time Premier League 11, and then we'll do uh, the current 11, okay? So, Dylan, as you're new to the show, as your new guest, you're going to start, okay? And I know you've probably been planning all morning your 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 all time Premier League eleven. So, do you want to okay, go yeah, through? I mean, yeah, your all time I mean, Premier League eleven. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, I'm st I'm playing a three four three because I want to be attacking. Right. Cool. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper's Peter Schmeichel, amazing. Yep. You know for what you've done. Uh, my defence is Tony Adams, Yap Stam, Ashley Cole. Um, but the Tony Adams one, I mean, I could have put John Terry in because I think he's, he was longevity, what he achieved, trophies, leadership. But I had to go with Tony Adams. So, I mean, um, that guy, I mean, even when they let in one goal, uh, that, you know, you could see what it meant to them, that Arsenal defence. Um, no, John Terry was good. That was it was a tough pick, and there was other defenders I could have put in there, like Vidic, Ferdinand, Campbell, <laughs> so many others. It's, it's, a, it's a tough list. Yeah, you you got some uh, decent picks so far, decent ones. That's Stam, why I went with him. He wasn't in the league that long, but what he his impact on that treble winning team and the couple of years after, and when he left, it took them a long time to replace him, uh, and hence. I think Arsenal stepped back in. Because you know, I think United locked the league down for about three years with Yap Stam in there. He was a massive impact. Uh, Ashley Cole, for me, one of the best fullbacks for a while in world football. And okay, midfield, okay, Patrick Vieira, Steven Gerrard, Paul Scholes, David yeah. Silver. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, my chest. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, carry on, carry on, carry on. Lamp, lamp. Now, with Patrick Vieira, I could have gone Roy Keane, but again, I think I'm going with impacts. You know, he, the battles they had when he came in, the, 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 dy the dynamic of the league changed as well. Dylan, I'm surprised you ain't got um, Jordan Henderson in there. Like, <laughs> surprised well, you ain't in there. You might see that in the next two, but <laughs> I'm talking about now, all right? All right this is the greatest... Premier League 11. Um, again, there's so many players, like, it's difficult, isn't it? 
Like we've seen some, you know, and I apologise to the players I haven't put in there as well. Uh, so many great players. You've hurt their, you've hurt their feelings, mate. Like they're going to cry all night because you're in, in their team. <laughs> no, I mean, there's some great players I left out. There's some amazing players I left out. You know, I mean, to leave Roy Keane out is a tough one. Um, I could have, you know, Steve McManaman was one of my favourite players growing up. Leaving him out is tough. But I had to put Gerard in. David Silva, what a player. I mean, I'm also going on longevity as well. Like Gerard's Cole Silva, like, look how many years they played in the league. Look at the impact. Um, th that's my reason. That's my rationale. And now my front three players, I've gone with Aguero, Shearer and Henri. And the front three was probably the toughest because of the quality of the league we've had. But between those three, there's about 600 goals between them. And, yeah, uh, I agree. Yeah, just amazing. tough, tough. There's so many you know, good players I left omitted from that. But that's I my mean, level. I mean, you know, it's not a bad team. Um, I'm surprised there's not, you know, eight, nine more Liverpool players in there. But um, nah. that's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good little, good little team there. You know, I can't really argue. I mean, I can argue some, some players that are not in there. But um, yeah, it's, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, it's okay. Um, not too bad. Lee, what about you? All-time 11. Um, I, I will be more traditional and with a 4-4-2. <laughs> how, how it used to and should be, well, how it used to be played. Um, so I don't think anyone's going to have any difference than Schmeichel in goal. That's a, that's a given, just as well as Ashley Cole left back. Um, Gary Neville, right back. Um, Rio and Adams, for me. Everyone's missing out JT, mate. Bloody Who hell. James? Oh, <laughs> James Tonkins. No, he's not good enough for this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that'll be my, that'll be my back five. Um, then I will have Beckham, right midfield, or winger, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Giggs, left, left midfield. And obviously the... You could add so many central midfielders in there, but I went for Scholes and Vieira. Um, Keane, obviously, if you played three in there, Keane would be in there, but I felt Vieira had more to his game. Obviously, leadership, Keane all day long, but Vieira had a bit more to his game. He could do everything on his day, um, as well as get sent off, like Roy Keane. But, yeah, I thought he could have everything. Scholes... You got to take what the what the what the old pros used to say. They always used to pick out Scholes and Gerrard as the as the best midfielders in England. Um, I feel so, like we're trying to slightly dig into the Chelsea boys. You know, we're not really. It's fine. Carry on. Carry on. This is a neutral. I'm not Chelsea. I'm not yeah, Liverpool. You know. Cool. Um, yeah. So yeah. So Scholes and Scholes and Vieira up top. Shearer, Henri. Done. Matt, what about you? Well, mine is uh, eerily close to Legacy, funny enough. Um, we had a little chat about this previously. I think they're, uh, I'm going for a 4 4 2, and I think if you're going for a 4 4 2, there are three players absolutely nailed on. And that's Schmeichel in goal, Gary Neville at right back, and actually Cole left back. Um, I've gone with those. Um, my two centre backs would be Cole Campbell and Rio Ferdinand. Ahead of them, you had to debate Vieira or Keane. I'd chuck both in. I'd be playing both. I'd have Vieira and Keane in the middle because they'd make dog me out of anyone. Um, same two wide men as uh, Mr. Snag over there with Beckham and Giggs. Again, the same two front men, Shearer and Omri. Um, you can't, you know, Shearer's got close to in the Premier League for a reason, and not a lot needs to be said about Shearer and Omri that hasn't been said previously. Yeah, 
Okay, they're, 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 to be fair, they're all pretty good teams. And uh, I thought my team was going to be a, a slight bit different. Um, not too Chelsea, much change. More not Chelsea, right? Much. No, no, not really. So, in I'm goal, back. I'll... In goal, I'll stick with Schmeichel. Right back, Gary Neville. Left back, Cole. Uh, my two centre halves, I'll have Rio and JET, the original. Um, I'm playing 4 3 3, by the way. So the three in the middle, I'll have Maka, Vieira, and Lamps. Um, I feel like Maka has to be in there because, you know, as in, he's. As in, as in Makalele, yeah? Yes, who else is it going to be? Could have been McManaman. No, we're talking about Makalele. I mean, he has to be in there because. There's plenty of Makas. Yeah, well, we, there's only one real Maka. No, no, yeah, no. Makalele. Darren um, McAllister. Darren well, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> we don't love the Liverpool players on my team. Um, <laughs> I feel Makalele has to be in there just because, you know, he kind of created that, that kind of role. He kind of self proclaimed, had that role, and it's kind of. He made it to the position it is now. Um, Lamps, obviously, his goal-scoring traits for any team is a bonus. You know, it, it, he scored 20-plus goals as a midfielder for, I can't remember how many years now, how many seasons it was. Um, mm. Then the three up front. The, the three up front was a tricky one for me, you know. Um, Omri has to be in there, just because he's probably one of my favourite players. Um, I then have to go probably with... Beckham um, on the right-hand side, the front three. And then on the other side, it was a tricky one. It was a tricky one. It was either Ronaldo or Aguero. It was a, it was a tricky, tricky, tricky one. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go with Aguero just because Ronaldo more become superstar when he left the Prem. Um, but yeah, that, that would be my all-time 11. I feel like that would cause a lot of damage to a lot of teams. Um, moving forward and defensively as well. But it's, it's pretty... Some players are pretty similar to you guys, but there's obviously a few players that we decided to not have in there as well. Um, surprisingly, um, there was only one Liverpool player mentioned, which is Stevie G, which I thought you'd all go for him in the end, but I'm glad we didn't all go for more Liverpool players. Um, because... Uh, we're not talking about Liverpool at the moment. Um, it's, not, yeah. it's not about. It's not about. It's, we shouldn't be. We should be objective, is, isn't it? Though, it's not about live one like one particular club like Liverpool or yeah. Chelsea or. Yeah, but you know. I also think as well that there was a few other players that could have been added into that list that yeah. we missed out on. Yeah, um, there's another twenty players. I, think. I was going to say, you yeah, took three to more teams. There's so many. I, mean, I feel like. I feel yeah. like it. It's. It's it's difficult to decide what like the what the best would have been because there's so many players that could have fit in any positions, you know. Um, but yeah, so we'll move on to the current eleven now. I know Mr. Perez in 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 this room is gonna select a lot of Liverpool players, which actually you might be surprised. But I mean, I, I could have done, but I, I I tried to look at it objectively. So uh, okay, okay. Well, um, yeah, we'll start with you then, newbie. So do you wanna? All, uh, current Premier League eleven goalkeeper I've gone with Edison because I think looking at the whole thing like as a he's a proper footballing goalkeeper isn't he? Um, okay, so I've gone four three three my formation. You've definitely um, wrote this down, innit? Yeah, yeah, wrote it down. I've gone Trent, Trent yep. right back, Robertson left back, right. BVD, yeah, uh, centre back. Now my other centre back. Are we, are we talking current? I mean, I put in Laporte, but on current form, I could have put in Rudiger uh, because Rudiger has been amazing for Chelsea this season. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, Chelsea will be where they are if it wasn't for him. Like, uh, some games away from home, he's been incredible, and like, he's really stepped up. Uh, but I think there is a lack of good centre backs in the league in general. Like, it was to you know, be fair. Was, you mentioned Laporte, and because he's been injured, I've, I kind of forgot about him. Um, yeah, but I mean, because he came back and like what he's done, I'm going on more what he's done before. Yeah, he's of course. Fantastic centre back. 
Uh, my three midfielders have gone De Bruyne, gone Madison, and my holding because Kant hasn't played that much. I went with Ndidi from Leicester. Yeah. And, um, my front three: Firmino, Aguero, Mane. Okay, there's a, I mean, that's, yeah, it was, it's a decent team. You've based, you've based it mostly on former, haven't you, really? So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have a yeah. Liverpool midfielder in there because they're very, like, like for like players. They're very, they have a set role. They're, they're very functional players, aren't they? Yeah. Their job is um, to pull back and feed the front three. It's as simple as that. But if I'm, if I'm looking at more creativity, then that's what I've gone on. Okay, cool. Just, it's not too bad to be fair. I thought you would have packed it out with about fifteen no. Liverpool players, including the bench as well. So it's not a, uh, it's not too bad. Um, who is next, Lee? What? So wanna... wait, just confirming. Are we talking? So we are talking about current form players, or current... I, my team? My team's not really based on current form. So just who's, wait, the, best? who's the best? <laughs> yeah, who you think's the best? Like at present. You want to do yours again, Dylan? Mine, I went Edison, Trent. No, I mean, as in, do you want to change it compared to what you just said? Um, I'd probably put Kante then in the, ahead of Ndidi, the holding midfielder. If we're going on that. Yeah, I just feel like it, it'd make more sense just to make it the best current instead of on form. Okay, um, yeah? Yeah. Final decision? Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't. Put, I couldn't put. I, I mean, Fernandinho is amazing, but he's I he's not he's Kante, though, is he? He's not Kante, you know. Oh, but, he's been brilliant, <laughs> but he's, he's. I think unfortunately his legs have gone this year. So who? Fernandinho. Oh, he's getting older, isn't he? He's a bit. He's a bit of an OP. He's still a fantastic player, though. Yeah, he's still a good player, but he's he's just getting on a bit now. Um, <laughs> pardon. Uh, we've already gone through this, so we have had this conversation, yeah, about Kante Fernandinho. But yeah, anyway, Lee, what about you? Current Premier League eleven. Um, so yeah, not judging by form then. Um, what's it, Edison? Um, it's the same as same as Dylan's, I think. The back four: Trent, BBD, Laporte, Robertson. It's probably going to be the same thing. And then you got KDB. Kante. I'm going four four two again, old school again, just to keep it consistent. Um, then I'd have um, uh, Mr. Diver on the right. Um, I'll have um, Sterling on the left. Harry Kane on the right. <laughs> no, the original one. What well, Zaha? Well, Zaha? Wilfred on the right. <laughs> and then I'll have Sterling on the left. <laughs> And then I'll have, oh, Aguero. I think everyone point. kind of forgot about Sterling. I don't know if anyone kind of forgot about Sterling because I thought everyone would try and name Salah Romane more than Sterling because I would have rather had Sterling in my team as well, to be fair. I'm sticking him in on the left and probably well, hold on. put Aguero and Mane up front. That'll do. Or Mane just behind him. That'll do. Cool. Um, Mr. Roberts. I know it's just tough for me considering I haven't watched football since about the year 2000. Um, in goal, I'd still go with De Gea, even though he's had a dodgy period of time, should we say. Um, I still think he is the best. Um, back four. I like four four two, so I'm always going to stick with that. Um, I can't argue what he's doing at the moment for Trent. Um, on the right, two centre backs. Just say there's no one out there that can play properly anymore. Um, that would be VVD and the port. Left back is a tough one. Again, the only one who really seen play a lot is Robertson. I say a lot, that's probably about six times. Um, I'll, I'll stick him in. He's top of the league, so I can't argue with that. Um, my middle two would be Fernandinho and De Bruyne. And all Man City midfield, actually, with on the right, Sterling, and on the left, Leroy 
Sane because Leroy Sane is going to be the best player in the world when he recovers from his injury. Um, and up front, <laughs> he's going to be Sergio Aguero and oh. pre-injury Harry Kane. That's what I'm going to go with. So, so no Salah or Mane? Did I? Did I... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Perez, how do you feel about that? No Salah or Mane in the current team? No, because, no, no, no. Listen, I didn't put Salah in my team because I, I think <laughs> he's a fantastic player, but I think he, he's had he had a great one season. He's got 44 goals, but I think a lot of defenders have now worked him out. He's, they've worked out that kind of trick. He cuts in a lot. If you show him down, if you show him down one side, he's, he's you know, it's, it's basically he's, he's, he's profited from our system, the way Klopp plays. Exactly. I've got four, four, two. Neither of them are wingers. Fantastic. And neither of them are strikers. So still a fantastic but I, I wouldn't have him, I wouldn't have him in my, you know, best team, no. I also don't think I don't think he, I think he's quite um, I mean he's quite a selfish player as well, so Rivera. that's the reason you know. The reason why I picked him was because he's not. Hold on, boys! Hold on, we're just joined here by another attendee. We've got um, Jay Snags in the building. Where is he? Jay Snags in the building. We've got Jay Snags in the building. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. We have got him. He's here. Jay Snags, give us a wave. Jay Snags, give us a wave. Do something. Do something, Jay Snags. I can just see a silhouette. Where? I can't even see him. <laughs> yeah, I've only got four bolted. No, he's here. If you swipe to the right, he's here. Oh, yeah. Swipe right and you get Jay Snags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, okay. He's back in the room. Jay Snags, he's back in the room. Anyway, Dylan, what's your team? Come on, go on. My team, I'm gonna go. Um, if you still pick John Terry, I'm gonna be furious. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably still got his kit on anyway, ready. No, no, John, John Terry's the manager. Love big lamps. He's a manager now. No, John Terry's the manager of the team. Um, with lamps, they're, lamp. they're, with lamp? they're both doing it together, they're holding hands, you know, managing the team. Um, I'm gonna go 4 3 3 in goal. Um, I'm gonna go with with Allison in goal. Um, just for, yeah, I'm going to go with Allison in goal. Back four, I'm going to have Trent, Van Dijk, Laporte and Robertson. I feel like that's probably the, the most solid back four out of the whole league, even though there isn't really much to choose from um, in terms of centre-backs anyway. Um, you know, like someone said, I can't remember words, the quality isn't that great anymore. Um, as it used to be previously. Uh, the three in the middle. Um, I'm going to go Kante, KDB. And just because what I've seen of him so far, it might be a bit of a premature call, but I'm going to say Bruno Fernandes. Um, I, I've seen him. He, look, he, look, he doesn't look too bad, to be fair. And I feel like he's... He, he's he's played three, three games in the Premier League. <laughs> Yeah, you could still judge someone on three games. Palace, Palace <laughs> were judging AWB after about two. No. Right. Yeah, and what was um, I, was we right or not? Um, yeah, yeah exactly. I thought I think Bruno Fernandes can be in there. Um, have, you, have you been to Old Trafford? Have you seen him? I've seen him on TV though. <laughs> um, the three up, the three up go top. Go um, I'm gonna have Sterling, Marnie, and. Aubameyang. They're, they're, they're the three I love up top. Sterling, Marne and Aubameyang. I feel like that's probably the strongest team in the league. I feel like that would get lots of goals. I feel like a solid at the back. Um, and with the right manager, like Frank, at the wheel, I feel like they can go right to the top. Um, so, yeah, he's also my manager as well, Frank. Frank is the gaffer of um, 
of that team. So we had a we had a lot of similar similar faces, similar players in our team. Obviously, me being me, I was I'm going to have a few players that are a bit different to what everyone else picks. Um, it's lobby, it's room, and um, I feel like earlier in the week he was um firing shots at me. Now today you've been a bit quiet. And I feel like, I think you've got I think it's a bit squeaky bum time for you because you was, you was triggering off them fingers real fast. Today you're just a bit nice to me. Like what you know about these nights? Stacking bars to the free five. Got my juice in the trees light. When it's night, man, I see light. No